This chocolate chip Biscoff banana bread was a huge hit in my house. I had some bananas in my kitchen screaming to be turned into banana bread, but I didn't want to just do my regular banana bread, so I decided to change things up. So we're going to start with my original recipe for banana bread. You want to beat an eighth of a cup of butter with one eighth of a cup of oil. Add half a cup of packed brown sugar and half a cup of sugar to it. Beat this for around three to four minutes until light and fluffy. You're going to add two room temperature eggs. Add them one at a time and make sure you mix them well between each addition. If you guys are new to the channel, then welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please take the time to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like what you see, do consider sending us a super thanks or you can buy us a coffee. The link is in the description below. We appreciate all your support. Add one teaspoon of vanilla and mix it in once more. Next, you're going to add three mashed ripe bananas and a third of a cup of sour cream. Now, you just want to mix that in and then we're ready to add the dry ingredients. You'll need two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Fold that in until just halfway through. It will look like a lumpy mess, but hey guys, just go with me, okay? At this point, we're going to add half a cup of chocolate chips. This ensures that the chocolate chips get coated in the flour so they don't sink to the bottom when you bake it. And also, this ensures that we don't over mix the batter, which usually happens if we've already mixed it through and then we add the chocolate chips after mixing it in. Cool tip, huh? If you like those tips, drop us a comment below and I'll try sharing as many as I can. Now you're going to pour three quarters of that batter into a parchment lined loaf pan. You're going to top that with an eighth of a cup of melted Biscoff spread. And then you're going to top that with the remaining batter. So indulgent, so delicious. Level this off with an offset spatula and swirl the batter in with a toothpick. Now top this with Biscoff cookies and Biscoff crumbs and then you're going to bake this in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for around 45 minutes to an hour. Doesn't that look so good? It went so well with my cup of tea. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Much love and have a good one. Bye.